Hello again, Azun here with more Portugal Speed 37th episode. I noticed something odd. It's with the Inca. The Christians. Catholic nonetheless. They are allied to France. When did this happen? I didn't want to go over them because it's stupid cascading um not cascading alliances, but uh coalition. So just let them be. But now they're Western. Yes, tech aren't. They're still animalist. Pretty sure they aren't Western. I should have despotic monarchy, so they are. Not tribal anymore. Hmm. What about you? Neither tribal. You're on tribal. Ah, and they're a monarchy too. We can still go and kill the Aztec if we feel like it. They're still tribal. Oh, oh. Oman, Persia, and Iraq. Whatever. You know, I didn't even notice we had a uh, cotton trade down. I had a couple more. Are they building still? Yeah. Whatever. I don't have any plans for any more of North America. Or South or America for that matter. We're in the trade business now. Saw cord. Yep. And with them, they're still tribal. Algiers and Morocco. It's a weird alliance. Savoy, you're Muslim. They're landlocked. <laughs> what a triangle going on there, a weird line of alliances. We're losing money again. Can hit Genoa. Nope. We take this province. We should. Or one of those provinces. All I'm going to do is I'm going to send it to this guy. He has a lot of income sitting there, and he has the lowest amount of trade value from us. So it should make the biggest difference there. It's Bengal. Our ships haven't made it to Nippon yet. What do I have? I get 60 trade power from them. Alright. You know what? We're going to send our Bengal guy here to increase trade by 20%. He didn't switch directions again, did he? No. I don't know why he switches directions. Maybe he's working for the French. We're losing money. Ooh, China where?
guess it's under next batch to golf. Aiden. It's a lot of money there not being collected by us. Your next two batch ships. Damn that Pope. Can I just go and conquer him? I don't remember which ones. You should tell me who voted for them. Was these ones. Just in case. Give them all 140 range. Guess that's good news. Look, now we're profiting 100. Our trade is now 940. See what I mean? With this uh, fluctuating income. Next month it's gonna drop down again. Not much, but it did. Let's go back to the Gulf. Or was it because this guy's here? He's increasing value by 20%. Pope is increasing it by another 20% here. So even though he's sitting on that island, he is helping my trade more than he's taking from it. Like Zanzibar, he's not helping that much. And Zanzibar. Ooh. I destroyed you. I think it costs us more money now. Yep. Happened to us again. So now we should be making more money. Go nick him. All right. Do you really want to take up? Our income is just so fluctuates so damn much. Holy shit! I wonder what's causing it. Coalition against us again. Maybe I'll join the coalition against France. <laughs> Which was a coalition map mode where I could see everyone's against them. 
That way, if they declare war on me, or if France declares war on me, then the whole coalition should be against him too. So it would be coalition against coalition, right? But people are in both coalitions. A lot of native uprisings. Do we even have them in the No, we only have three. How many are we making now? 850. What happened to the 900? Pope's taking 36. Losing about 8 there. Pope's giving me 20% more. Off of... So they give me 30 back from there. Just pretty much covers their pushing. Here we're losing 13.6. If you look at the trade power, if we have them, we'll probably get the biggest amount. The places where we have more, the more ships we add, it will take even more to get a greater effect. Ask for help. So no more prestige. I just drop it. So much money. Oh, what it feels like to be a Roomba. Losing money everywhere. It's so damn much, holy shit. More positive. Or that. Set them there. Fairly positive. Or really negative. Transports and transports. Alright. Now we're positive again. Fluctuates so damn much, holy shit. are about to go away, that'll lower our overextension by 40%, which will bump up our trade power. Oh no. Next year. 
Not like how much we're making. Is our tariff efficient? Yeah, that looks efficient. Oh yeah, what's our naval? Look like hundred. We're getting to a year. <laughs> So we recruit an admiral, we get the best admiral possible. Oh, look at that maneuver. Trade not really losing the most in. Group up. Why am I being here? We lose money one month because of this. There we go. General gives us twenty percent more. Or Admiral. Now we're making 45. That one month though costs us 500. So the trade route has to survive. But at least it's tons and tons of ships running it. If anyone ever engaged this, they would need a massive baby. Those are early frigates, aren't they? Oh, and you. The store, how much? 200 ish. Yeah, we can have an air leader. Sure. It's only two maneuver though. So now you keep protecting Ceylon until the end of the month. I go in here. Ah, uh, diplomatic power, of course. Free trade in Ceylon. The only fleet here. Looks like it. Two hundred and twenty income now. What the hell? You see what I mean by um, income? Doesn't make sense. It bounces around a ton. Managing to pull out 35 income from me. Holy shit. It's because they're not overextended anymore, isn't it? Yeah. That means our trade power jumped up around the world a shit ton. I 
It's just ridiculous. Any level threes? Nope. 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 Technology, though. 588. Oh, how much does the next ship give me? I didn't say, no. Get heavy frigate next, that's the last one. What does it say in here? Nope, just this heavy frigate. Hmm. Anyways, since we're making huge bank again. The cost of produce goes up with the, every ship like you. I didn't know this. I knew it did with missionaries. Or mercenaries, not missionaries. So we can't go to war or take anything for a while. Might suffer from Naples, no. If we take any land, we need to give it to other people. <laughs> this trade income was more of an exact science. It still fluctuates, we went down in our 40. Seventy-six, two hundred and thirteen, two hundred and sixty. How much are they taking out now? Thirty-three. To get that. We have ten to one ratio. We doubled our ships if we don't eat what? Half is not good. I don't know. Too late to do math. <sighs> Look how much you're pulling out. Holy shit. What happens if I put them here? 61. It's like 5 extra gold. We're gonna probably pay for the maintenance, anyways. I gotta be careful though, I'm low on cash. I'm making all these ships. Second of a month, that's safe to transfer. Your income is just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> But anyway, we are spending most of it on maintenance. To the point where we have enough light ships that we can feed any navy with just our light ships.
That's why I like these buildings. They increase the trade value without maintenance cost. That ship here is really nice. Right now, I suppose our highest tax is production. Not that amazing. Trade, though. So, if I was collecting all this trade, would it be worth it versus pushing it all to here? Alright, you're still pushing the right direction. So, I'm gonna have to keep looking to make check up on them, you know? Got a good chunk of Africa. More than I expected. And it's, it's along the trade route they increase my income. That's part of the Ivory Coast, wow. Thing new? Oh, there is. The correct. Eh. Nah. coming through there. That's nice to see. It's a villa. Guard. Let's see, walk up here. I'm part of the Caribbean, anyways. Almost every Caribbean province is worth something. As long as we hold the cotton trade, our colonies expand fast. How fast are they growing? 228 people a year. Let's start at 142. That's pretty good. So it's really good. But anyways, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Thanks for watching. Bye.